Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So I'm going to show you how to get um, install the official official ICS from um, This is actually official release from Poland without root um, This will actually kind of a this is like an unroot method um, for your uh, GTI 9100 um, This is for your Galaxy S2 i9100 only please not for AT&T or T-Mobile um, basically, it will. Some of you are having trouble flashing the ROM in Clockwork Mod Recovery, and a lot of things can go wrong. So uh, I'll have a new method. This is a new method using Odin. You just need one file, flash it in Odin. I'll walk you through uh, for those of you newbies. Um, so first, you'll need to connect it, uh, or not connect it. Hold on. Um, volume down. Home button. Uh, power button hold them all down together until it resets and this will erase everything um, except for the contents of your uh, SD card or your internal storage um, once you get there uh, that was volume down power and the center button once you see that hit volume up and then connect your USB all right and let's go to our computer Next, you'll need to download this file called i9100xxlpq uh, home.tar.md5. Um, download it, and uh, actually, it should be in a zip format. Unzip it, you'll get this file. All right, and once you get this file, leave it alone, and then you'll need to um, also download Odin, Odin 1.85. I'll have links where you can get this. Um, you can, if you download the zip file and unzip it, you'll get to two files. Just gotta run that file. So that's two files. You gotta unzip. All right, and then uh, when you get this, basically you just need to um, choose PDA and make sure you get the com, some kind of comms number. The number doesn't matter. You get yellow high, highlight. If you don't, you don't have drivers installed, you need to go download and install Samsung keys, which I'll have links to also. And then uh, simply choose PDA, and then go find where you unzipped the other file. I unzipped it to my Galaxy S2 ROMs, I9100, um, right there. That's the tar.md5 file. Open, and start, and this will basically flash um, the official version via Odin um, so if you're having trouble with Clockwork Mod Recovery before uh, that was probably because um, you have a bad Clockwork Mod Recovery bad data or whatever but using Odin it's gonna you know flash it correct way and you can also use Heimdall I don't have instructions for that maybe I'll make a universal instructions using Heimdall for uh, Linux and Mac uh, for Linux and Mac users because you can just use Heimdall instead of Odin. It's the same tool, just um, a little bit different. Anyway, when this is done, you should be all good to go. And uh, I'll be back when this is done. Hi, right, folks. So once you get that pass sign, and uh, your phone should reboot by itself. And uh, you should be all good to go. And, and uh, also, this probably get rid of all that uh, exclamation mark when you do this. So another good way to do that, I think. Um, yeah, it does get rid of it. Since uh, we just used Odin, it should um, it should add a count, but it got rid of it. So if you want to get rid of that yellow triangle thing, mm -hmm. you can always flash the uh, stop ROM back there. This way. So this is like kind of an unroot method for your Galaxy mm -hmm. i9100. Um, it gets you back to the Poland version, whatever, but it's they're all pretty much the same thing. And uh, most people won't be able to tell the difference if you take it back to the store. Um, unless you live in a certain country that has a custom UI and stuff with custom apps. Um, this should this should work fine for most of you. Um, probably most of Europe especially. So it's going to do its thing. And uh, I'll be back when this is done uh, optimizing. Hi folks, so it's done, it rebooted, um, now it should be on completely, completely stock um, settings about phone, 4.0.3, XXLPQ, this is completely official um, and also you should have, uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much unrooted back to ICS 
for the European version, I believe very very similar. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll have a um, rooting guide on how to boot this, which is pretty simple. You just flash a kernel over it. Um, so that's how you. Uh, hopefully, this will for those of you who want to be official stock without root, so you can follow this unroot method. Um, and uh, I, I'll have further instructions for uh, other other um, regions like Asia, um, you know, South America and stuff. But it should work on all those phones, this one too. Um, and you just have to change the language if you want to, you know, if you want to make it look like it's from some other country. Um, language input language there. So you can just change the language. You can even change it to Korean. Yay! <laughs> There's a lot of languages supported here. Wow. Anyway, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyst2root.com where we update you once or twice a week with stuff like this, ROM of the Week, and other tips. Um, it's just for you and me and uh, no one else. We don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you have, thanks, you guys. And uh, don't forget to share it with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. I feel like a, I'm becoming like a robot. Robot. Uh, anyway, thanks, you guys, for supporting my channel. And uh, I'm going to get real high on Android. And you know where the best YouTube channel for Android is now. I hope so. Alright, see y'all later. Be a hater.